Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to be talking about how we can disable triggers in production. So as you guys would already be knowing that there are very limited things that we can change in directly in production and triggers is one of them. So if you, if there's a need to disable any trigger in production, there is no way that you can navigate to a trigger and uh, uncheck the active box on the trigger. So there is a workaround to do it. Uh, like there are multiple workarounds, but then we'll be talking about one of them today. So the one that we'll be discussing is that uh, we can use custom settings to disable the triggers in production. So let's just do an example and see how it can be done. Okay. So first I'll go ahead and create a custom setting. So I'll navigate to setup. Let's just move to custom setting. So you have to create a list type of custom setting. I'll just go ahead and create one. Something such as, okay, for trigger test. Setting test. And let me make it list and we'll keep it public. Let me save it. Okay, so this is my custom setting that I've created, but I also need to create the switch, right? Using which I can basically, I'll be able to activate or deactivate the trigger. So I'll create a custom field and I will basically create a checkbox. and let it be unchecked by default and let's just save it so i have this okay so i think we are set here i have the custom setting and i have created a field okay and yeah now i just have to go ahead and create a record for it okay so i'll just click on manage and click on new and let's just give it a name as um, active check one something like that and let me just uh, let it be active for now and let me save it okay so i have the switch now so before running any trigger logic right i can simply check if this particular um trigger setting right whatever the record i have created if the is active button is true or not right and based on that i can decide to like you know run the trigger so i'll go to my developer console and let's just go ahead and try this out on one of the trigger logics so let me go to the trigger first so let's say um, okay let's just do it on i had a method for upsell opportunities one second this one and let me see where i have it here so i want to put a check here that my insert event should only get called if my active checkbox is checked on that custom setting right so what will i do here first i will uh, get the record from there so string and then I need to get the object name. This is my object name. And uh, active check. And then object name dot get all as I have just one record, right? So here it is. And now I just have to put another condition if, and let me, yeah. So, dot get, and here I have to give the name of the record, right? So what, what was the record that I've created on this? I have created this record, right? Active check one. 
so this name should be coming as a string so here i just have to give this and then uh, dot and here i have to give the field name and what is the the api name of this field so let's just go back and check what was the api name API name was this. So this. If this is active, right? If the value of this boolean is true, then only whatever I will put inside this, right? That will get executed, otherwise not. So let me just put one second. Okay. And save this. Okay, so here, before we go ahead and try this out, right? So what we did, we are doing, I mean, we are not doing anything very differently. We are just creating a check using custom setting and putting that check before executing any logic, right? So because it becomes, it is the custom setting record, you can edit directly in production, but trigger you cannot edit, right? So basically you will be able to handle your trigger logic being like you know to run or not to run based on the this checkbox right so you can create such records for any number of objects and if you want to include other objects you can basically create extra fields over here right for example object field and keep the object names and that many records you can create and for every object you can put the same check okay and then in directly in production you'll be able to go and edit the custom setting records right these records you'll be able to go and change so if you want the trigger to be active you can keep this checkbox as checked otherwise you can just simply edit and disable it because this particular change you'll be able to do directly in production okay so now i have done this let's just go ahead and try this out so this one is for now this is active right and what am i doing here is i am my insert event right after insert and before insert both the events for both the events i have put this chuck so if this is true then only this should happen otherwise not so for now let me just uh, come in this one and let's just check this one populate absolute opportunity on before insert okay so for now this logic should run because this is active so first we'll check it on active and then we'll go ahead and make it inactive and then we'll check again that time it should not get executed okay so what are we doing here update upsell opportunity i believe we were creating an uh okay account record in account record if account type is customer direct then upsell opportunity should be marked as should be updated as yes okay so let's just go ahead and create an account record and uh account name Is one of the required fields okay upsell opportunity this is what we want to update right and based on what based on the account type so type is if type is customer direct then my upsell opportunity get updated to yes okay so for now i'm leaving it blank and when i save it this particular field should get populated with this value yes value okay so let's just go ahead and save it So let me, so here it is, right? Upsell opportunity is yes, when you selected the type as customer direct. So this particular logic ran because we have the, like, you know, the trigger is active, but let's just go ahead and flip it. Let me make it inactive and save this. Now, if I go ahead and create an opportunity, this logic should not run. If I choose the type as customer direct, and keep it blank then even after saving the opportunity this should still be blank because the tr trigger logic should not run i have deactivated the trigger logic right using custom setting so let's just go ahead and create another account and uh, okay so here's my type i am choosing as customer direct but I am not selecting anything in upsell opportunity. Okay. And once I save this, it should still be the same. It should be blank. The trigger logic should not run. So 
test 44 this is the account we created and here you can see this is still blank right the trigger did not run so this is how basically you can create such kind of switches in order to disable or enable trigger directly in production so this was uh, all about how you can create switches for disabling and enabling triggers in production i'll see you in the next session bye bye